Okay, we've got here a Chinese LED projector. Now, I've taken this apart once to try and diagnose the fault and I know what's wrong with it. I, I had two of them and I managed to get one working. But I thought it'd be interesting to do a video of what's inside it. So, top case is just a flimsy piece of plastic. That's going in the bin. Underneath here, we have a small circuit board with a single main IC. Um, there's going to be some voltage regulation here. Uh, I would say that's a, that's a HDMI interface chip. That's probably a USB interface. So book and boost power supplies, nothing fancy. This whole board works off 12 volts from what I can see. So there we go. Under here, we have the workings. We've got a fairly large liquid crystal display. A power supply, which provides 12 volts a fan supply and uh, uh, um, an indication for the light to come on. You know what, it's not a fan supply, it's, um, it's a return to tell the lights to come on. Now this has actually gone fizz bang and exploded. So that power supply is shot. We have a lens here, which does the keystone. A little light box that spreads the light out from the LED light source and a loudspeaker. A fan. But what you'll notice in here is there is absolutely no filtering. Nothing to filter the air coming in. A really, really naffy lens. So, yeah. Now what's of interest in here is we've got an LED lamp here that I think works off about 20 volts. We'll have a little experiment with it at another date. The control board here and the LCD panel. So I am actually quite honestly wondering if I was to reconnect the LCD panel to this to get the end of this wiring, which tells me the first two are 12 volts, the next second two are ground. Just put a knot through there just to tell me what's the live. So, ground twelve volts. Connect that back into here. Let's see if this works. I'm gonna need some bench power. No, I've got no idea whether this is going to come on because the lead I'm using to run the power brick was the lead I was using yesterday. When this went bang, now I think the fuse has gone. Maybe the fuse hasn't gone in the plug. Okay, live and neutral. No sign of life, so I think the most likely thing that's happened is the fuse has gone in the plug because it did go, it's only a three amp view, so it went with quite a good lightning show. So I'm gonna go and find another lead. Okay, I've got another lead. So I'm gonna feed this in 12 volts and see whether it gets any information back from the lights or what.
can suspect that might be on. Let's pass it a light source. Now, what I'm going to do this LCD display, I'll just put some light behind it. Oh, look, there you go. LED multimedia projector. But then it's shutting back down again. I wonder if that needs to be held pushed in. Okay, that needs to be held pushed in, interesting. Okay, let's dispower this and power it back up again. So, what I'm gonna do is, let's give it a signal. Balance that like that as well. And perhaps now. We hold that closed. Can we get anything from it? There we go. I'm going to reposition the phone in a second and uh, get you into a position where you can see that better because uh, that's kind of cool. Now that's saying no signal. Um, yeah, I know why pattern generators flat, but I reckon with a bit of playing about, we could actually make this work and produce a picture. So I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to connect a socket to this properly and have a look for a bit of perspex or something that I can use as a proper backlighter. 